Level 5, Key Stage 3, exam questions, or at least it's questions based on Level 5 exam questions. Session 2. This square and rectangle have the same area. Work out the value of P. Now it doesn't say these diagrams are not drawn to scale, but always assume that they're not, so measuring that is likely to get you the wrong answer. You need to appreciate that the area of the square is 6 times 6 and the area of the rectangle is 2 times p, which we just write as 2p. 6, 6 to 36. And if 2p is 36, then p itself must be 36 divided by 2, which is 18. Don't forget to say centimetres. And there you go. Percentages. A second-hand car is on sale for £4,275. A 16% deposit is required. How much deposit is required? Show your working. Well, I'd do that even if I wasn't asked to. Always show your working. So the deposit is the answer to this question. There are many ways of doing percentages. But we'll assume this is a calculator paper, and I always solve percentages by changing the percentage to a decimal, and then just picking up the calculator and pressing the required buttons. So here we go. 0.16 for 16%, multiplied by 4,275 equals, and that will give us the answer. But don't forget to say it's pounds. Probability. This spinner has eight equal sections, so these sections are all the same size, therefore the arrow, the pointer, the spinner is just as likely to land on any one of them. What is the probability of scoring a four? Well, there are two sections out of the eight sections, therefore two to eight, always right as a fraction, is the answer. If we can cancel a probability, we should cancel it. What is the probability of scoring an even number? Well, they're all even numbers. So you could put 8 over 8, but there's not much point in that because it's a dead cert, therefore the answer is 1. The probability of scoring an even number is a dead cert, and a dead cert we say is a probability of 1. Another spinner has six equal sections and six numbers. On this spinner the probability of scoring an even number is two-thirds. The probability of scoring a four is a third. Put numbers that could be on the spinner, so there's more than one possible answer to this. Let's look at this. If there are six sections on the spinner a third of 6 means 6 divided by 3, which is 2. So therefore, if the probability of getting a 4 is a third, two of the sections must have a 4 on them. It doesn't matter where you write them, and it doesn't matter if you don't put them next to each other. Now, the probability of getting an even number is 2 thirds. So 2 thirds of the 6 sections must be even numbers. Well, if a third was 2, 2 thirds was 4. So four of these sections must be even numbers. Any even numbers will do, other than four. We mustn't put four in again, so let's do that. Therefore, the last two sections must be odd numbers, so any odd number you feel like writing in there will do. So that's why it says what possible numbers could be on a spinner, because there's more than one answer. Bit of algebra. Use the table to write in words the meaning of each equation below. So Sam's P years old, Tommy's Q years old, and Joey's R years old. Q 
equals 30 is in fact saying Tom is 30 years old. So that's what they're after, rewriting the algebra into a sentence. P plus Q is 63. P plus Q is 63. So Sam's age plus Tom's age is 63. I'm not saying this is the way you have to put it exactly, as long as your sentence means the same thing as mine. R equals 2P. Joe is twice as old as Sam. R, which is Joe, is twice the age of Sam. P plus Q plus R over 3 actually means P plus Q plus R divided by 3. And if you added up their ages, you'd be working out the mean when you divide by 3. Their mean age is 43 years old. Should that be T-H-E-I-R? I think it should. Good job it's not a spelling exam. A few questions on shapes. Four congruent triangles. So the first thing we need to know is that congruent means exactly the same. Four congruent triangles join to make a bigger triangle. Add two triangles to finish the bigger triangle. So here's two triangles. One, two. And they are exactly the same. They are congruent. I've got to add two more triangles to end up with a large triangle. So I reckon if I stick one there, and I stick one there, I don't know if there's another way of doing it, but that will do nicely. Four congruent trapeziums join to make a bigger trapezium. Now what's a trapezium? A trapezium is a four-sided shape, in other words a quadrilateral, with a pair of parallel sides. Add two more trapeziums to finish the bigger trapezium. So there's one trapezium already drawn, there's another one. Where shall I draw another two? Well I reckon if I draw one in there, and I draw one in there, that will solve the puzzle. Four congruent triangles join to make a bigger triangle. Did I say triangles? Four congruent trapeziums join to make a bigger trapezium.